Now you play the cat patch catches if you can. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> Come here, darling. We're going shopping. Yes. Ha! Misha's such a poor sport. Really. Which ones will I buy for Jean and Catherine? There's so many. What do you think? I say Prince Charles never gets married. You could be right. I heard he even went to the flower festival to look for a suitable fiance, but no one interested him. He's much too picky. Indeed. Excuse oh. me, please. Do you ladies think this is suitable for a visit to the castle? Uh, well, uh, 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 mind you, it's not for me. My daughters need some new hats. Have your girls been invited to the castle? Of course, by the queen herself. Oh! Are they going to work there? That's very droll, ladies, but it's nothing of the sort. I was determined not to say anything, but I know I can count on your discretion. You see, both of my daughters have been accepted as candidates for royal fiancés. No! Your, your girls, girls were chosen, chosen as possible future queens? Actually, I'm surprised you haven't heard the rumors. <laughs> <laughs> These days, everyone is pretending they'll win the prince's heart, but none of it is true. I wouldn't know about any other candidates, but I can guarantee my girls really do have a chance of marrying the prince. They have an excellent relationship with Duke Sorrel, who, as everyone knows, is considered to be the royal's closest advisor. What? They know Duke, Duke Sorrel? Yes, now, if you ladies will excuse me, I really must finish shopping for my girls' trousseaus. Have you made your selection, Duchess Dalvin? Mmm. Please, wait. I'll see if she's in. Mother, there are several designers, hat makers, and jewelers all asking to see you. They all must have heard the rumor about me and the prince. I'm always amazed how the truth gets distorted. I only mentioned that you were both hoping to meet the prince one of these days. I could post a disclaimer in town if you like. It's all right, Mother. It's good practice for the day when I do get engaged to the Prince. She's right. Sooner or later, I'll have to get used to everyone chasing after me. Bring the merchants in, Cinderella. We'll see them now. Yes, ma'am. Everyone in the kingdom is talking about it. Yes, Duke Sorrel. They say you've narrowed down the candidates for Princess to the Dalvin girls. That is completely ridiculous. How did this rumor start? From what I could gather, Duchess Dalvin mentioned your excellent relationship with her daughters. She was buying hats for their upcoming visit to the castle. She's gone too far this time. I agree. That's why I've taken the liberty to devise a plan that will teach her a lesson she won't forget. Excellent. I like your thinking. Thank you. Cinderella, I want you to make a list of all the things we'll have to do for a wedding. If you don't mind my saying so, don't you think you're being a little bit hasty? What? It's just that the engagement hasn't taken place yet. It's all just a rumor. <laughs> for now, it's just a rumor. But if all goes according to plan, it will soon be a reality, Cinderella. But perhaps your concern is really only an excuse to get out of helping us, because you're jealous of the girls? No, ma'am. I just thought that... Well, don't think, my dear. Just do as I say. I won't have you causing any trouble. From now on, the whole kingdom will be watching. I expect you not to embarrass us. Come in. You're 
still up, Catherine? Obviously. I just finished trying on all the new things Mother bought us, and I'm actually convinced I'll marry the prince. Just the thought has me so excited I can't possibly get to sleep. You shouldn't get so excited over nothing, Jean. I'm sure you look decent in your new clothes, but all you can ever hope to be is the princess's younger sister. Wrong, Catherine. I'm going to rule this kingdom. Go to bed, Jean. You should be asleep if you want a dream. I call a truce. I came to ask you to tell me a story, not fight. What? Come on, tell me one of those scary stories you always used to make up before we went to sleep. All right, but only one. Go on, scare me out of my wits. All right, I'll tell you the tale of the House of the Spirits. Mm. It takes place about 200 years ago in the heart of a dark, misty forest where there was an ancient castle covered with moss that seemed completely deserted. But on those nights when the rays of the moon were brightest, one could hear voices in the castle. It was a terrible screeching that went on all night. Go on, Catherine. <gasps> oh, oh, it sounds like something breaking. Could it be Misha? I don't think so. Misha's not big enough to be making all that noise. Maybe it's Cinderella. Ah! I'm so scared. You asked for it. I don't even know where to start. How would I know what you need for a big wedding? Hmm? What's all that noise? Cinderella, wait! We're scared! <gasps> How dare you tell people your daughters are in line for the throne! What is the meaning of this? It's a warning, Duchess. Leave the kingdom within the week, or else. That'll do for now. Come on, we're leaving. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They got away. <laughs> How could those hooligans do this to the home of the prince's future fiance? Are we going to leave, Mother? Like they said? Of course not, girls. We're lucky no one was hurt. This terrible incident is your fault, Cinderella. You should have heard them coming and kept them out of here. Oh. I refuse to let them scare me out of my own home, but we'll have to take precautions. I'll tell Pierre to move in and stand guard. As for you, make sure everything stays locked at all times. Yes, ma'am. And Cinderella. Yes? Starting tonight, instead of going to sleep, you'll stand night watch with Pierre. The whole night? Of course, it's the only solution that I can think of. I can't take the risk that anything should happen to my princess candidates. I see. No one is going to keep your dreams from coming true, dears. <laughs> Excellent. I almost wish I could have been there, Blade. I'm sure they must be packing up to flee the kingdom as we speak. I'm afraid not, sir. My spy tells me the Duchess moved the caretaker in to stand guard. What? She's spreading the word that a few burglars broke in, but she scared them away. Hm. What insolence. I guess we were too nice. <laughs> Thank you, Cinderella. Hello, Cinderella. Oh, hello, Charles. Doing some shopping? Yes, and finding you is next on my list. Come on, I have so much to tell you. So that bag is full of locks for your house? Right, Mother wants to install one on every single door in the mansion. It must have been scary seeing those burglars. Extremely. That's why I want... I want you to teach me to use a sword. What? You want to learn how to fence? Yes. Will you show me? Sure, if you insist. All right, now try to touch me with your stick. 
All right. Don't tell me you give up already. No. Oh. oh. This is harder than I thought. Maybe it's not for you. But I have to learn how to use a sword so I can defend my home. That's very brave of you, but how would you fight them all anyway? I'm not alone, Charles. There's Pierre and Patch and Choo Choo and Bingo and Pappy. Yes, and you saw how much they scared away those burglars the first time. A real army. Fine, Charles, if that's how you're going to be. Ha-ha! I'll fight them without your help if I have to. Oh, really? And is that what you <coughs> call fighting? Uh Oh, you're mean. I don't know why I even bothered to ask you. Goodbye. Oh, Cinderella, wait. Don't be angry. I'll teach you how to defend yourself for real. We don't have time for you. I'm only here because I thought I could do something to help. But think of our situation, Mother. An extra person on guard duty can't hurt. She's right. He isn't the brightest fellow, but at least he's young and strong. <laughs> I'll stand watch, Charles. Cinderella, you look like a real musketeer. I am now, thanks to your lessons. You're a fast learner. But I think you should stay inside just in case they show up again. Aren't you tired? You've been standing guard a long time. No, I feel just fine. Can I bring you anything? How about a nice hot chocolate? Mm, that sounds delicious. Did you really stand guard all night, Charles? Yeah. I was so worried about you, I barely slept myself. I almost sent out a search party. You worry too much. I'm your best friend, and you wouldn't believe the story I had to make up to cover for you. I'm sorry, Alex, but it was important. Well, at least I hope you scared the burglars away. Yeah, they didn't show up last night, but they could be back this evening. Charles, what are you thinking? You can't go. Your parents are having a huge party tonight. They're expecting you there. Do you hear? Oh, he's hopeless! <laughs> Where did you dig that up? I think it's very intimidating. My ancestors won many battles dressed like this. I'm guarding the front door tonight. I thought Charles was coming back to help us. I thought so too, but we'll be fine. I'm sure something must have come up at the last minute. He's my friend, he wouldn't let us down. What are you doing, Jean? Close the curtain. I'm watching Cinderella. Do you think she's afraid? No, she's not as smart as you and I, so she's not as sensitive to danger. Now come to bed. If we don't get our beauty sleep, Mother will be upset. Right. Still awake? You startled me. Sorry, I just wanted to bring you some hot chocolate. For me? Of course. This is so boring. Oh, tell me about it. Whoa. Whoa. A loaf of bread. Whoa. A gift from the stars. Alex, you don't have to be glued to me all night. I'm not going anywhere. I know you, Charles. As soon as my back is turned, you'll try to leave the castle. You don't even trust me. Who's there? Oh! Oh! Ah! They're back! 
Just who I wanted to see. No! <laughs> ah. Come on. I got him? Not bad for a rusty old knight, hmm? <laughs> Get away, you mangy pests! Uh, sorry, Charles, I wasn't paying attention. It's all right, Alex, but I don't need to be followed around like a child, now do I? No, of course not. I'll wait right here. This is taking too long. Charles! Oh. He tricked me. Mm. <gasps> Let's get down to business. If it's only money you're after, just tell me how much you want. Money has nothing to do with it. What we want is for you and your girls to leave the kingdom. We're not about to leave the kingdom. One of my girls is going to become the future queen. That's right, sir. No, it isn't, and stop saying it. You're not going to marry the prince. You've never met him. Now tell me you'll move. Oh. Ah, who did that? Leave them alone. It's Charles! After him, boys! Hey, I know your face. You brat. Let's get out of here, boys. <laughs> that was Blade. He works for Zarel. Help! There's a fire! Huh? Charles. Cinderella, you're all right, aren't you? Oh, I was so scared. It's all over now. They won't be back. Are you all right? Not even a scratch. You were brave. Isn't that sweet? They're helping Misha. Thanks so much, you guys. When did you learn to talk? Yeah! Huh? <laughs> no one tells me what to do! We're not leaving! The only time I'll move is when Jean or Catherine take over Emerald Castle! Incredible. But there's no harm in dreaming, is there? 